Hey, welcome back to the channel. I know your time is valuable, so let's jump into the very first tip I want to share with you. So we're already aware of the multiple cursors in VS Code, right? You can hold down, what is it, uh, Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, and you can click to have multiple cursors. We're already aware of that. What I want to show you is that each one of those cursors has its own unique clipboard that you can cut and copy and paste. So check this out. If I wanted to move uh, like these parentheses and then the species to sit before the name instead of after, check this out. I'd probably start a cursor at the end of the three lines, right? So just Alt or Option click. So my cursor is there. And now let's use the arrow key. So I would select, I would begin selecting uh, the word that I want to move. But now because they're all different lengths, right? Cat is three letters, puppy is however many, bird is four letters. That's not going to get us, like we want to the perfect end of the parentheses. So if you hold down, what is it? Option on Mac, that takes you to the next um, like end of the word or symbol. So that gets that. Now here's what I'm actually trying to show you. If you cut or copy that into your clipboard, each multiple cursor, each cursor has its own clipboard. So then I would just move to the start of the line. So what is that? Uh, I guess you could press the home key on Windows or just command left arrow on Mac. So now we're at the start of the line and then just arrow to where you would want it. Paste in, so controller command V, hit a space. Awesome. So again, the first tip that I just wanted to share with you is that each one of those multiple cursors has its own clipboard. Super cool and I had no idea. All right, tip number two that I want to share with you is very minor, but let's say you're writing a bit of CSS, and this would apply in other programming languages as well, but I think CSS is a great example. So like, let's say I was going to say like margin 20 pixels. So you start to type margin, and VS Code can give you these suggestions. And you know, let's say I wanted like margin top. So I hit enter, and then you type in you know 20px. Now what if I want to jump down and write another line of code? Currently, you would have to move your cursor to the end of that line because the semicolon is already there and then press enter. But check this out. Like what if I, you know, line height, press enter. What if I set it to like 1.6? And now instead of moving the arrow to the right, you can just press command enter or on Windows it's control enter and you're on the next line. So again, that's a super minor feature, but this can save you a lot of time, right? So font size, let me see, uh, like font family. Sans serif, don't have to press arrow keys, just command or control enter, boom, you're on the next line. Instead of that awkward dance of like always, I always press like command right or you know the end key on your keyboard, this is a lot faster. The third and final tip that I wanna share with you is whether you're working in HTML or JSX. And let's say like I have a heading level two, excuse me, a heading level two, and what if I wanted it to be a heading level three? So if I change the opening tag, the closing tag doesn't automatically get updated to a heading level three. However, check this out. If you go into your VS Code settings, uh, there is this property called editor.linkedEditing and just set it to true. So by default, it's, it, it's set to false or it's just not enabled. So with that set to true, linked editing, check this out. Now, if I try to change this heading level three to be a paragraph, you know, or H4 or an H1, it's automatically you know, the closing tag gets updated too, or I could change this to like a span or a small, you get the idea. And that works not only in JSX, but it also works, um, you know, I could change this one to an ordered list and you see the closing tag gets updated automatically. I'm not sure why that actually isn't enabled by default, but it's a really cool feature. You don't need any kind of extension. It's just part of VS Code. You just flip that setting to be true. Those are all of the VS Code tips I have for you today, but really quick at the end here, I do wanna plug Learn Web Code Premium. So if you're enjoying the videos on my channel, you might enjoy my premium course bundle. Uh, it comes with five of my most helpful courses. It also comes with a private Discord chat community. The five courses that it includes as of today are my Figma to Full Stack Dev Bootcamp, my Laravel course, my MySQL course, my React course, and of course, my big 44-hour WordPress developer course. You can find a link in the description for this video to enroll in my bundle. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more web development tutorials.